shot entirely on iPhone. So, you know, it's going to look like shit. Oh, hey there, bud. Yeah, we got ourselves a beauty for you today. We're going to be cooking up some right proper fried rice. And I've only done this two other times before, but it both turned out pretty decent. So we're going to see if we go ahead and score a hat trick on her, bud. So, uh, yeah, one basic requirement we have here is it's all got to be cooked in a wok, right? Like, if you use a frying pan with it, you done fucked up, bud. So, yeah, for the most part, we're going to be using the uh, the Uncle Roger recipe because, I mean, well, you can always trust a man in an orange shirt. And so, you know, off uh, here we got the uh, MSG, which says right there on, you know, flavor enhancer. So, you know, it's going to be good. And naturally, you got soy sauce. And we got black pepper, which you can put on anything you ever make anyways. All it's going to do is make it taste better. I couldn't get uh, a fresh chili pepper, so I went with chili powder. Maybe six, seven months from now when the winter time's over, I'll be able to get a fresh chili to cut up. And then uh, we got sesame oil as well here. And you got the thing that's real important. You got to make sure it's got that Asian writing on there. That way you know it's the right stuff. I mean, well, fuck, but even the knife we're going to be using got Asian writing on it. So, yeah. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and be honest with you. Like, I put MSG on fuck every goddamn meal I make because, you know, if you don't love yourself, then who will? So we'll be using a bit of day-old rice I cooked up yesterday. And that's a very important part of the process. Don't fuck that one up. Got ourselves some spring onion right here. I'm going to be using fresh garlic too. And the thing about garlic is you got to kind of treat it like gravy, you know. It's just never enough. We got ourselves some shallots right here. They're kind of like onions except they're, you know, a better flavor to them. And then I wanted to use three eggs, but I looked in the fridge. All I had was two. So, I mean, fuck, bud. That's the way she goes. Yeah, and then we'll just add ourselves a bit of chicken in there too. You know, you see a lot of people using chicken breast, but I think that's just a fuck white people default move. I mean, the dark meat's where all the flavor is, right? And that's why we're using chicken thighs for this. All right, so we'll go ahead and do the old one-handed technique, get the eggs in there. Ooh, to do one, and there we go. There's two, bud. And you go ahead and you just get your eggs all whisked up in there nice and good. All right, thanks for the assist, buddy. We'll just give you that back there, right, huh? So yeah, first we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our shallots there chopped up. Now, one thing that's just going to help you with your garlic right here is before you even try chopping it, just give it a quick little smash and then you get the paper off it. No problem. It works great. And so, yeah, we just chop up our spring onion next. And if you want to just really make it look fancy, you cut it at a diagonal. And so, yeah, one little secret when you're doing your chicken is the smaller pieces you cut it up into, it's going to end up being quite a bit better. It's just going to have more flavor to it than if it was just a big old giant chunk, so... Take them and then you cut them. And just go ahead and give them another cut right there. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're about ready to start going here, bud. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take our olive oil. And then we're just going to chuck that in the garbage because we're not going to use it. What you want to use is you're going to go ahead and you line your wok with the peanut oil. Get that all good and in there. But there's more to it than just that, you know. You're going to take it and you got to just mix it all around. Get it up the sides, get it everywhere. You know, what you're doing is you're trying to get it all up the sides and get everywhere. You know, just get it all nice and smeared along everything. Like, essentially what you're doing is you're just getting it nice and coated everywhere. You know, you want to get it all nice, good, and smoky there, bud. Look at that smoke there, bud. That's what you want to see. I do like getting my chicken going by itself. You don't have to. It's all going to end up in the same spot eventually anyways, right? So uh, make sure to go ahead and put the good stuff in there with it. Okay, now to start the rest of the meal here. Go ahead, you throw your shallots and your garlic in there first, let them get going a bit, huh? Ooh, look at that smoke, buddy. You just let her go until she gets nice, good fragment, get a nice aroma to her. And if she starts looking like a little bit dry and I need a little bit more oil, don't be afraid to add a little bit more oil. Okay, the next, go ahead and add in your egg. Just let that go for a little bit there. Uh, yeah, I'd say we're ready to go ahead now. 
ice in there. And the ice is another thing. We're not going to measure nothing around here. We're just going to go ahead and eyeball it because, you know, that's what the professionals do. And see, like that right there, that looks like about the amount of rice that I want to eat today. So that's how you know you're good. And you got to be keeping it moving, keeping it moving. Go ahead and smash the rice down good. Break up all those clumps. Get all every grain of rice to be, you know, its own person, right? All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and toss in our chicken here. Oh. Get all stirred in. Make sure to be generous with your MSG. It's not that expensive. I mean, it's worth every penny, too. Yeah, a little touch of pepper there. Then you go ahead and you take your soy sauce, but you don't pour straight on it. You just go around it, right? You know, go ahead and just rim her like she paid you good, bud. And uh, don't forget your sesame oil, either. Don't measure nothing, just go by feeling. You know, you'll fuck up a time or two, but then you'll get it, right? Add in a bit of that chili pepper, give it a little bit of spice. I'd say we are just about there, so we're gonna add in our last ingredient. I did kind of fuck up, I chopped those a bit too thick there. The other big important secret too, is you always wanna test it as you're going. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do right now, make sure she's right. Look at that steam coming off it. Of. We are good to go. So yeah, there's the final product that we're working with here. And I think first we're gonna start off with a little bite of chicken, see how that went. Oh yeah, buddy. That's good stuff. Let's get to see how the rice goes. Oh, mm. That is fucking right proper. So yeah, that's, for the most part, that's uh, Uncle Roger's egg fried rice recipe. I just added chicken into it. And, uh, like, watching his videos was learning how I learned how to cook this. So go check it out. It's pretty, uh, pretty good one. It's way easier than you think it'd be, too. Oh, it's so good. Fucking beauty.